Hi all, I am Vinay Kumar. In this series of Pharmacotic M4, today I will explain you what is banked stack pointer registers of ARM Cortex MX Prosa. In my last class, I already explained you about stack, models of stack and the operation of stack in Cortex MX Prosa. In this video, I will explain you what are the types of stack pointers and their functionalities and how to configure the stack pointer registers in Cortex MX processor. Here see there are mainly three types of stack pointers. That means there are three registers uh, for indicating the stack pointer operation in Cortex MX processor. Uh, first one is SP. SP is nothing but stack pointer. You can call this SP as CSP also current stack pointer. Here R13 register is used to hold the SP value. Okay. Here R13 register is used to hold the SP value or you can say the R13 register acts as SP. R13 is one of the general purpose core registers. Here, the second stack pointer is MSP, main stack pointer. And third one is PSP, processor stack pointer. Let's see brief description about MSP and PSP. Here, see, when the processor is reset, the MSP is selected as a current stack pointer by default that is sp is copy the value copy of the msp content which means whenever you reset the board whenever you reset the arm chip then by default msp act as a current stack pointer that means by default the current stack pointer register that is nothing but r13 the current stack pointer register r13 copies the content present in the msp Okay, copies the content present in the MSP into R13. Here, the current stack pointer act as a MSP or you can say MSP act as a current stack pointer by default when you reset the chip. Now, see, the thread mode can change the current stack pointer to the PSP by configuring the SPSL bit in the control register, which means the thread mode by default you start the processor in msp but here you can change the stack pointer from msp to psp you can change the current stack pointer value from msp to psp by configuring the spsl bit of control register here i will show you how to configure this one here see let's go to generic user get here observe, it is a generic user gate of ARM Cortex MX processor. Here see, it is a control register. Go to the first bit of control register. That is nothing but SPSCL. That is nothing but uh, stack pointer selection bit. Here observe, whenever this bit is 0, which indicates the current stack pointer is MSP. Whenever this bit is 1, it indicates the current stack pointer is PSP. By configuring the bit as 0 or 1, you can change the stack pointers okay that is how to configure the stack pointers let's open this one okay now see the third point in handler mode the code always uses the msp as a current stack pointer right to the spsl bit in the control register or ignored it means uh, you know there are already two modes two modes in the ARM Cortex MX processor. One is thread mode and another one is handler mode. Thread mode is also known as user mode. This thread mode is used to execute the user tasks and this handler mode is used to execute the interrupts or system, system level exceptions. Uh, we already discussed about these two modes in my previous video. If you didn't watch that video, go to that video. I will give you that uh, video link in description. Okay, here see, being in handler mode, you can't change the MSP to PSP, which means the handler mode always uses MSP as a current stack pointer. It should not use PSP as a current stack pointer. Remember this, it's a very important point while pro programming the stack pointers because uh, when you are programming any uh, interrupt handlers or exception handlers, then you have to take care of this thing. That interrupt handler uh, should use MSP as its current stack pointer. And if you if you want to change that MSP to PSP by using this resistor being in handler mode, it won't work. 
being in handler mode, you can't change the uh, stack pointer from MSP to PSP by using SPSL bit of control register. Now see the fourth point that is immediately after a reset, the MSP is automatically initialized by the processor to the value at the address 0 cross 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0, which means uh, in the first point I already explained you, after reset the board, the uh, current MSP act as a current stack pointer. Here, after reset the board, MSP act as a current stack pointer, that's we know. Here, MSP is stored with the, with the value present in this memory address. Remember, by default, MSP will be stored by the value present in this memory address that is 0 cross 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Uh, it's your, it's your uh, responsibility to store a valid value at this memory address because if you give valid value in this memory address, then only this MSP can point that value for stack operations. Here observe, therefore, the programmer must ensure that a valid value is stored at the address 0 cross 0 0 0 0 0 0 0. Okay. And See here, this is the current stack pointer that is R13, this is MSP and this is PSP. Here observe, being in thread mode, if you configure this SPSL bit to 0, which is nothing but here MXP act as current stack pointer. Whenever this bit is 0, then the current stack pointer value that is R13 value or R13 is loaded with the value present in the MSP register. Here the value present in the MSP register is 0 cross 2 0 0 0 0 0 0 3 4. This particular value will be stored in the R13 register that is nothing but current stack pointer when SPSL bit is 0. Here see when the SPSL bit is 1 being in thread mode, being in handler mode you can't configure this bit because handler mode only uses uh, only uses MSP as a current stack pointer, but being in thread mode, if you configure this bit as 1, then the current stack pointer will load it with the value present in the PSP. Here see, the value present in the PSP is nothing but 0 cross 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, D4. Okay, this particular value is will be stored in the current stack pointer register. And this is about the stack pointer registers of ARM Cortex M4. I hope you understood this video. From next video, I will explain you the example code how to implement a stack in ARM Cortex MX processor by using STM32 QID. If you want to ask any doubts, then you can ask me in comment section or I will give you my Instagram channel, Telegram channel and as well as my personal mail ID in the description. If you want to contact me for further doubts, you can contact. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.